Is Dan Snyder selling the Washington Commanders, Ty Schmidt? Ooh, is that what's happening right now? He hired Bank of America. He said, yeah, I've got to gauge some potential interest. He's Daniel Snyder, owner of the Washington Commanders football team, and beep! beep. <laughs> is he selling the team, Ty? I don't think so. You mentioned it. You said this could just be a ploy where he's going to sell off, you know, maybe 30% of his ownership to get a little more cash on hand. Everything we've heard from this guy, he's basically said, like, hey, you're going to have to take this football team from my cold, dead hands. Like, fuck you. I don't care what. Everyone hates me already. Everyone already thinks I'm a piece of shit. Like, everyone's saying it publicly. Come take the team then. I'm not selling this team. So you guys can do whatever you want to. And I didn't even think of that because the all of, like, the reaction on Twitter was, oh, my God, he's selling the team. Here we go. Like, I can. it's finally going to be fun to be a Washington fan again. I don't think so. This guy knows exactly what he's doing. I think that makes a lot of sense. It's like, oh, okay, you guys you guys want me out of the league? Well, I'll make it appear like I'm selling the team. I'm going to sell 30% of it to someone who maybe I'm buddies with who's never going to push, you know, or have any issues with anything I'm doing. And I'm going to get... I'm going to get a bunch of two, fucking two money. Billion, yeah, exactly. Yeah. A bunch of fucking money in <laughs> return. Not. And then guess what? Ne- next year at the owner's meeting... This guy gets $2 billion. Yeah. Dollars. I'm going to be laughing at all you dipshits because I'm still going to be the owner. I'm of, showing up in a new jet. Yeah, exactly. I'm showing up on... I'm parking mm-hmm. my, my new yacht that I just oh, bought yeah. from selling the shares on the street where we are doing the owner's <laughs> meetings. Yeah. I'm living in that. We're shutting down the town that we're in that I just bought. Oh, and I have an extra couple billion still too to use it is that would be a very daniel snyder play if he was to do that but i guess everybody's thinking that he got bullied into or or yeah bullied i guess by the other owners and by the public into saying all right finally i'll just kind of give it up and maybe he does want some happiness at the end i was it's i it would be a very daniel snyder thing to do what what ty said um because he's a stubborn piece of shit it feels like uh, allegedly. 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 Oh, allegedly. 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 A lot of people yeah. alleged. A lot of people are alleging that. A lot that. of alleged. alleged. Yeah. But like maybe someone did get in his ear and like, hey, that three-month vacation we took in Sweet. Napoleon's Island where we were hiding from all that stuff, and that was pretty fun, right? And those exposés and the, the owners talking shit on you, that's not fun. But yeah, I mean, being an NFL owner is cool and stuff, but like you could also you know, just take $5 billion Six. and... Six yeah. billion dollars and, and just go have fun for the rest of your life. That's hey, his life right now. That's like maybe you. someone got to him and said, "Hey, that like six billion dollars and living just like stress free. Maybe that'd be fun too." Hey, that'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? You just kind of disappear yeah. into your little. There's yacht, a lot of a lot of people, there's a lot of bad billionaires out there who are just living and no one's bothering because they're not an NFL owner. Maybe that'd be cool. Maybe yeah. Maybe his family, his wife, who was being forced to answer sure. all the mm-hmm. questions, remember? Because yep. once they wanted to separate from Dan Snyder, they're like, hey, Mrs. Snyder, need you to come in yeah. come on, talk and uh, talk about it. And she's like, I fucking hate this guy. I hate this guy. I fucking what hate this mean? guy. Oh, I hate yeah. this guy. I didn't want to. <laughs> I hate football. I've been trying to sell this thing. For, we had poop pipes burst on people mm-hmm. yeah. the last three years. Now I'm the face of it. Maybe she is telling them, let's go ahead and sell it. Six billion dollars, though, is the projected. And that's they're going to have to build a new stadium. Yep. And we've been grossly overestimating the price of every franchise. We thought the Broncos were going to go for $6 billion. Right. Allegedly, the Washington Commanders team much bigger yeah. than, uh, than what the Broncos are. And they have to build a new stadium. They have to build a new culture. Probably going to change the name again. Yeah, new, new uniforms so? and all that kind of stuff. Right? Really? New owner, don't you think? Commanders is not, like, loved by their fan no. base. It's very new. And you're a new – if they sell the team. Yeah. This is still – if he, they sells the entire they the majority, the if he gives mm-hmm. up the majority stake of the team, they would change it. They do have a they have a fight song. Yeah, left hand. Put up. your left hand up. Who are we? The Commanders. Well, I saw it does matter if he sells like complete ownership or minority stakes, which it, it would matter. Like you would think somebody got to him and told him, "Hey, like it might be a good idea to explore your options to try to sell this team," which it seems like he absolutely does not want to, but. Who is forcing this, do you think? Well, maybe it's the other owners. Maybe it's uh, people that are close to him. You know, his wife was having to speak for him for a lot of times and for the team. I wonder if she got sick of that quickly and said, this is never going to change. Like, you're never going to be able to come back. Maybe it's family. Maybe it's the building. Maybe it's the other owners. Maybe he did just come to his senses like, man, I hate this. He went to the game in Indianapolis. Obviously, they steal one from Jim Irsay, who's been kind of pushing and leading this charge with less than a minute left. When Heineke delivers a ball to scary Terry McLaurin, like a 50-yard receiver to get it down to the goal line and Taylor scores to take the soul out of Indianapolis in a Ring of Honor game for Tarek Glenn, who's a fucking ball. Congrats, Tarek. Congrats, Tarek. Sorry, Tarek. Sorry, Tarek. Sorry, Tarek. Sorry. Tarek. 
Nonetheless, maybe Snyder does hate his life uh, being the most hated person in the NFL. Maybe Dan Snyder is sick of it. Tone Diggs painted a pretty, you know, Bob Ross painting-like right. scenario. You know, he went on like a three-month vacation whenever he was taping, duct taping his hands in his pockets mm -hmm. so they, they couldn't get him a subpoena so he could go testify to the oversight committee. Oh, you haven't subpoenaed me? What are you talking about? We mm -hmm. sent you an email. I'm on the phone. I haven't, I haven't been on a computer. Mm -hmm. Well, we actually gave you where? Can't put in my pockets. Pockets are taped. Hands got duct tapes on them. It's like Edward 40 hands, but I got no 40s. I just duct taped my hands. You can't put a subpoena on me. Oh, we're going to tape it onto your shirt. Oh, it's actually a stickless uh, shirt that I bought that yeah, actually sure. created. So he was able to hide from a subpoena somehow. Even though the whole world knows that he was being subpoenaed, he was able to make an excuse. Oh, I didn't know. I know I was on my yacht in Napoleon's home island or whatever. Mm -hmm. He did that for three months. There was video surfacing of them having a fucking party on there, having the time of their life, going to the spa, nobody really noticing who he is. Maybe getting six billion alongside being able to live that life was something that was laid out in front of him and he said, you know what, fuck it. Yeah, I will go do that for the rest of my life. Or is Dan Snyder doing this to say fuck you to the owners and to the fans in the end by selling out, you know, like 30% of his shares, picking up a couple billion dollars, getting more money in his pocket, and being the winner in the end, and buying a new yacht that is actually named mm -hmm. Fuck You by <laughs> Dan Snyder. These are all things that he could do because he is a movie character, it feels like. Darius, which way are you leaning in the Dan Snyder sweepstakes? Of his, if he's saying fuck you to everybody, yeah. or is he actually selling the I'm team? I'm on that first one with Ty. I think he said fuck you. Looking on his, at his history, his rap sheet, he may sell 5% of this team just <laughs> just to stir up this story it'll be hilarious in the end if still be a yeah. massive deal oh yeah like bank of america oh, yeah. securities would certainly still be a part of this some big company would be a part of this. there's a lot of money transferring coming fluid mm -hmm. by the way a lot right. of this money would be coming fluid so you could potentially invest in the team a little bit more if you ever wanted to do that maybe fix the poop pipes you know that happened yep. do anything like that at the stadium make his company better or take it right to the fucking yacht shop buy a fucking yacht dot and do his whole thing mm -hmm. We don't know what Dan Snyder is because Dan Snyder is what people have described as an asshole, a cockroach, right, right, and all these other things. Right. Alleged. These are all alleged. We alleged don't know him personally. But this was big news this morning that certainly got Commanders fans excited. And we're not 100% there yet because Dan Snyder is Dan Snyder until we see he's no longer Dan Snyder. Yeah, the percentage definitely makes the most sense, I think. But is there any chance that the Gruden lawsuit is kind of – becoming more and going into more depth about the emails and that maybe something else even worse about Dan Snyder is about uh, to come out and he might have gotten worse. I don't know. Is there anything worse? Honestly. I don't, so. I don't know, but I also <laughs> I'm could. sure there, there's always something worse. Yeah, you can imagine sure. him doing yeah, but, the worst thing. But Snyder, you know, like how he, it might be worse from, a, from our standpoint because we have morals yeah. and a conscience and stuff like that. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm talking about for Snyder. Is there, he thinks everybody hates him already and says he's the worst human of all time. Like, if something else comes out, is Snyder going to be like, oh, no, can't do that? You <laughs> know, like, like, even if it is, it's probably going to be terrible if like it is criminal. something else. <laughs> I, I mean, it was that government. Stuff, that was, stuff's already come out. Yeah, like, fucking like, Short of over. him. He stole from the other owners. Yeah. yeah. Allegedly. Yeah. He fucked over the government. Allegedly. All the stuff with the cheerleaders yep. and the workplace. He's a sexist person. Yeah. Allegedly. He's gotten his company exposed to being a terrible business like four times with the biggest newspaper in the fucking world. I mean, like, Dan Snyder has to feel like he is in the bottom of the bottom when it comes to social clout, I guess, mm -hmm. at this point. So if anything else was to come out that wasn't, you know, like, actual forcible for him to fraud some sort like and not alleged stuff like things that would be like hey this isn't alleged anymore not personal you. stuff like and this is the big thing um you know it's coming into conversation especially as we talk about politicians and shit like that like i think punishable by crime things are things that can force somebody to have to do stuff yeah. mm -hmm. when it's just punishable by community i don't think that it like I, you know what i mean like i think community all of us judging Daniel Snyder, certainly a real thing, certainly can view however you want to view about him, and everybody alleges he's an asshole. <laughs> but unless it's a punishable by crime thing, like if he typed something up in an email that was terrible, that's punishable by community yes, stuff. Yes. Unless in there he is laying out <laughs> how he perfectly executed a tax scheme around the government. They're like, well, well, now we have a paper trail for everything that you were doing. That could potentially be it, and we'll probably hear that soon. But if it's punishable just by community, I don't know why Dan Snyder would, because he's already viewed as the worst yep. human on earth. The, ta it's, it's, the tax stuff's already been alleged, too. They yeah. talked about how they had the two separate books and all that kind of stuff. So, like, there's that. Like, honestly, I think short of, like, him, like, having someone killed. <laughs> 
like hiring a hitman and having someone killed, like I don't know what else could tarnish his reputation. And also going back to that, like him enjoying vacation. I think when you get in a position like that where everyone is kind of saying the same thing about you and they and they view you the same way, like I think he gets off on that. I think he likes being hated. It's like, hey, I got more money than you. Um, I'll always have more money than you. Like you hate me. Who gives a fuck?